All right, everybody, here we are, about to start the third day of our three-day mm -hmm. Hajong Loop Trail guided tour with Yes D Travels. This is the final day. We're gonna get all the way back to Hajong today. Mm -hmm. We're up in the northern part of Vietnam in uh, Dong Van. So we're a good 150 kilometers away from Hajong. And considering an average speed of like 30 kilometers an hour, we've got like five hours of riding alone ahead of us, plus mm -hmm. all of our stops, which make it a good eight or 10 hour day. Yeah. Um, we're planning to see the Chinese border, which I'm not sure how close we can get, but I'm pretty <laughs> excited to see the Chinese border. Uh, we're planning to see the King's Palace, uh, a local village along the way. Then we'll stop for lunch. And then after lunch, we'll probably blast like yeah. four hours or three and a half oh, hours all yeah. the way back to Hajong. I'm sure we'll make some stops <laughs> after that to, you know, stretch our butt cheeks and yeah. maybe get some beautiful views. But it's going to be another full day ahead of us. If you're new to this series, check out our other videos, day one and day two. We've been blasting around northern Vietnam on motorbikes with yeah. some guides. Some amazing views along the way. Amazing wow. views, amazing villages, amazing people, <laughs> amazing food. Yeah. Just like Vietnam, all over Vietnam, amazing people, amazing food. All right. So let's go. Let's Day three, going. heading back to Hajong. Let's go. Some of these rice fields look so beautiful. It's amazing. You really gotta admire the hard workingness of these rice farmers. Wow. Whoa. These mountains with the mist. I don't know if the camera's gonna show it, but it looks. It looks like a shadow of the same mountain four times. Or like the one behind it is in front of the one. I can't see the depth at all. It looks amazing. No, Ivana? Yeah. It's so... I mean, how do I describe it? It looks like one of those books that, like a pop-up book. Yeah. Can I uh, borrow the sunglasses? Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Let me see if my sunglasses help. Maybe. Looks amazing. I'm already doing better today than yesterday. Yesterday I was uh yesterday I was really getting beat up by the motorcycle. My butt was hurting. I'm already doing way better today. I'm already used to it. I'm just not used to motorcycles because I don't have one and never ride one. But yesterday I, my butt was killing me. I'm like, oh my gosh. I know. I'm like, today oh I'm my feeling God. so much how, how do you feel today? Better. I feel still hurts, but better. Oh. I feel so better today. I feel more used to it. My back is better. My lower back and butt were like, oh my god, I'm because I'm wearing a backpack too. I'm like I'm like, yeah. oh, this hurts. No, I'm feeling so much better today. I'm excited for the border, Chinese border. Nice. So we just had a quick pit stop here to see the amazing the looking mountain. Oh it's like gosh. trippy as hell. So I can't see <laughs> the depth perception of which mountain is in front of yeah. which one. It's bizarre. It's amazing. And then next stop, Chinese border. Nice. Very exciting. Yeah. Oh, look, we have a visitor. Oh, hey, little buddy. I mean, little buddy, big buddy. Look at this guy. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, little buddy. Okay, Ivana. What do you say, Ivana? Fly the drone? <laughs> Maybe, the maybe they'll shoot it if we fly yeah. it. Maybe don't fly the drone today. I'm excited for the Chinese border. Wonder if there's gonna be like an army there. We will see. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Are we in China yet? Are we in China yet? Not yet, Ivana. Okay, some barbed wire on some pillars. Looking a little bit spooky. Dun, dun, dun. China, the house is China. No way! Yeah. Those houses are China? Yeah. Wow. Let's go closer. What's wrong? 
Too far. Am I in China? Yes. I'm in China. Yeah. Ah. Oh, this is the border. Yeah. Oh, Tivana. We just walked into the country. It didn't even. Oof. Wow. Very dangerous. Okay. So here we are. Wow. This is the border. Yeah. Wow. Is can someone stamp yeah, my passport? <laughs> okay. So maybe pay attention when you're walking across near borders. Duh. That was pretty ignorant of us. So that's China. Wow. Okay. So if I stand, maybe right here. I'm in both countries. Half and half. Half Over and here, half. Xin Chao. Over here, Ni Hao. Over here, Vietnam. Over here, China. <laughs> half and half in half both half. countries. Cool. Just a few steps between Vietnam and China. Surprise is so empty and quiet and there's no one around. I mean, I guess it shows good international relations. Like they're not, you know, it's not like a heavily armored border. Yeah. Amazing. Just there it is. I was in China. So if people, say, if people ask me, have I, have I ever been to China? I'll say just for a few minutes. <laughs> you stepped layover. foot on China. I stepped foot in China, but I yeah. didn't. Uh, I really wish someone could stamp my passport. <laughs> you know, so I show you. Look, it's in China. Arrived. 10 a.m. Left. 10:02 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Anyway, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah, man. Wow. That's China. You see those houses? Those people are Chinese. Yeah. And let's see the Vietnamese. Vietnamese side right there. Cool. All right. Okay. Pretty exciting. It's not much to see here. It's not much action, but I still really enjoyed it, you know? It's kind of cool to see it. It's cool. Yeah. Nice. It's amazing they just drew a line here and said two different countries, you know? <laughs> amazing. Okay. Back to the bikes. I had a good time here. Yeah, it's so cool. I'm like... falling. It's just rocks. It's such a rocky, <laughs> you know, landscape. Okay, back to the bikes. Next stop, the King's Palace. Bye the, bye, China. The Vietnamese King's Palace, not the Chinese King. The Chinese King's Palace over there somewhere. We're going this way. Bye bye, China. love palaces and castles like this. Reminds me of all the palaces and castles we saw in India. <laughs> Amazing. So we will make an entire video about this place. We just got tons of information from our guide. He knows lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we will make an entire video about it. You can click up here for that video. Five or ten minutes just about all the different things in here. Briefly, uh, 1865, this king was born. He was born as a farmer, not born into money. Uh, through kind of cunning and brilliance and hard work, he worked his way up especially during the opium trade. When Vietnam, North Vietnam was growing opium like crazy, he was moving it internationally and making this place very rich. So he became the king. Mm -hmm. He had three wives. He had a bunch of children with those wives. His second son became the king after him. His first son he didn't like very much. He was very powerful. He was very powerful man. Mm -hmm. Three wives that lived in the castle and like nine or 10 wives outside of the castle. Mm -hmm. So he was a uh, rich and powerful guy. Um, his first son moved to Russia and chose to be Russian. They kind of let him go. So his second son became the king. Eventually the dynasty fell because they were not making much money selling opium anymore. But 1865 to 1947 he lived and he built this place as his palace. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay, next stop, a village, right? Yeah. I forget the name of the village, sorry. Maybe I'll write it here. But going to a village next. Let's go. Okay guys, so we've abandoned the idea of the village because we're behind in time, because we're so slow, because we're taking videos all the time, stopping to flood the drone. So, next stop, lunch. Yum. Hey man, I'm vlogging here. Wow, it looks like heaven descending on earth. Wow. OK, 
Okay, bye my friend. Goodbye. My two friends. I and Gwen. Bye. Amazing guys, thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe we'll see you again. Yeah, I hope to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys. Thanks for watching our Hajong Loop series. Mm -hmm. Three days, what a blast. What was your favorite part, Ivana? Uh, the Mapilang Pass with the river and the mountains. Mm. Oh, it's so beautiful. Very nice. My favorite part was the dinner with the Hmongs. Wow, that one too. The dinner with the local tribe at the homestay. Amazing. So memorable. Yeah. So you're we right. would recommend getting a guide. You'll have lots of unique experiences along the way. Mm -hmm. Even in the King's Palace, if we didn't have a guide, it's just an old building. Yeah. Again, we did our tours with Yes D, the responsible tour. They have their website below. So check them out. Wow. Good stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. As we shrink in the corner, you can click below us for our most recent upload. You can see where we are now. We'll be traveling for all of 2020. So lots of vlogs coming. Who knows where we'll end up? Mm -hmm. And on the left, some of our other videos. Please subscribe. Lots Yay. more Vietnam stuff, lots more Asia stuff into Europe. Maybe we'll go to Africa. <gasps> Love you. Bye.